This is the windshield seal. This is gonna be the correct way of looking at it in orientation of, I'll use my pointer stick. This side will be the front of the vehicle. This would be inside the vehicle. So this thick part, a lot of guys I think put that on the front, they put it in backwards and they've had the windshield actually come out on them. But what we're gonna do is put this in all the way around your windshield frame. So I just wanna show you in theory what's gonna happen. This down here is gonna go onto the windshield frame. Your glass is gonna go in here. And then this is going to get peeled up and that's gonna lock in underneath that lip and that's gonna hold your glass in place. And that's gonna be what we're gonna reference as the J channel to lock in the windshield. Windshield installation 101 with Ambrose. <laughs> here at Diesel Freak, we're uh, getting ready to put a windshield on this vehicle over here. We get a lot of guys when we ship out the windshields. We don't ship the glass in the frame because we have had, it's like getting a Christmas present in the mail. You're all excited, you open it up and the glass is broke. So it saves a lot of heartache. The glass gets shipped in its own box, foamed in a nice bed of foam safe secure won't show up broken I've lost count at how many of these we've shipped out guys have installed the glass it's not impossible to do on your own but we are gonna do a little video showing you he's putting the rubber seal in right now so this is the rubber seal here well, I was just gonna zoom in and show him how this should sit the indicator he's marked center of the vent and that's where he started with the end of the rubber and you can see this is where the glass is going to sit into and this is your lock channel so that needs to be on the outside of the windshield this windshield sitting here facing up is um obviously the logos on the outside so the wind will be pushing in against the glass as you're going down the road but he's going through and so throwing the seal on it we Go always ahead. do we always do this part dry it'll save you some headache It'll get twisted. You can, I can see a big twist in it right now. You just gotta yep. wrestle it around like a garden hose. Yep. It'll be a lot easier if you keep it straight, just like Wade said, just like a garden hose. Keep that bugger straight and it'll make your life a lot easier. So the biggest thing on these corners is make sure you get her in there good and all the way. It's a pretty deep channel. So sometimes you gotta kinda wiggle around there. So if you see here. You got uh, some extra? Yeah, we have a little bit extra. So just take a pair of scissors and you know, I figure we got about, I don't know, I'd say a half inch extra here. So I always cut it just a little bit shorter than you'd think because I'd rather cut twice than cut once and be too short. So you cut a little bit less off the first time than you really thought you should have. You want it tight, but you don't want it too tight to where you push your seal up down there like I just did. But sometimes you can get her to work in there and just like that. So now the dry part is done and on. And we got our friendly bottle of Dawn dish soap water mix. We're gonna get some sun. Okay guys, here we go. We get a ton of questions how to install a windshield, the glass into the frame. We've got Ambrose here today is gonna show us how. Uh, we got a couple tools on the end of the table down there. We got some plastic utensils. Dawn dish soap and water. Dawn dish soap and water. So Slippery will be your friend. Uh, we already installed the seal. You want to install the seal so that your lock is on the outside, just the front side of the windshield frame, so that the glass will always be pushing against it. It won't come in on you if installed properly. So just kind of got that ready to go. I guess take it away from there. Putting this seal on, it's easier dry before you go to put your glass in. So your trim piece here, just make sure that you're dry going on there. And, and the seal, it. yeah, it's split. We put, measured it up, put it in the middle of the center of the windshield down so that any water leakage or whatever would be at the bottom of the glass so here we 
you're gonna get wet doing this. Lube's your friend. We're just using a white plastic table. I doubt you have too many uh, workbenches this big in the personal garage, but wife might have a little picnic table she ain't gonna miss for a few minutes. So, I usually start on one end and then try to get the glass in your big groove here see it along here and then usually you can get one corner in kind of push on it and then this is where your plastic tools come in to use so you kind of just stick it down in there pry it up and around sometimes you gotta slide down on the glass like I said lots of lube in this it's gonna be your best friend You can get pretty rough with it. Don't be scared. I haven't broken glass yet. Yeah, I know that's been some question is how fragile is it? Is it gonna shatter on me? I'm not gonna say it won't, but it is pretty strong glass. The minute we say it won't, Somebody. somebody's gonna break one. So, biggest thing is just gotta work with it. A little bit at a time. These little plastic widgets, you can find at a local parts store, maybe stop by a glass shop, see if they got some that you could get. They're not, I don't know, maybe a buck. Um, but we have used screwdrivers in the past. Just try to use something that's you know, when you get that soapy water on that plastic, it's slippery as well, so it just makes it easier. So, I've, it's kind of starting to work it a little bit, and uh, sometimes you gotta work it a good two, three times. Slide it over, run your plastic knife back over it, make sure you're in the seal good. More lube. Once when you get it kind of started, you can almost push down on the glass a little bit. But once again, just work it. A little bit at a time. Put the seal on dry on the frame. It's, it sticks to the frame much better that way, but it does work good once that seal gets wet and soaked in and that soapy water it makes it a lot more viable and flexible. So if you look, we are in our bottom seal all the way around the windshield. I always take my knife and run it around a couple times just for a satisfaction thing. Looks good. So then I always start, try to start your lock in the middle of your windshield. It's a little hard to explain there, but if you come down here, it's a little easier to see how it works. So all you gotta do, it's called a J-channel lock, is you just get your little lip right under the top part of your seal there. Sometimes it takes a little bit, but that's locked right there. And then sometimes you can, that's pretty dry, it needs a little more lube, but once when you get her started, you can take it and then if you get a good run at it sometimes. It's 
sometimes it'll get bound up and then you just gotta poke a little bit down on there but that seal right there is locked so you, you gotta do, do that till you've gone all, all the way, way around. around yep i usually start on the top of the windshield and then work your way around this way to push your seal together at the middle yeah because right now we got just a little bit of a gap but if you start at the top and work your way around it'll it'll push along and if you end up with a small tiny bit of a gap it's not the end of the day I mean, you could leave it that way or just work with it and keep moving, massaging it around and get it to where it's so if you get sealed lucky, up. You can you got a good run going? Maybe. We'll see here. Oh, I jinxed myself. Lots of lube again. Remember that. <laughs> see, it's drying up. I know you guys are gonna watch this and say so he makes it look really easy, but practice makes perfect. So it got tight on me, so you just gotta kinda poke that seal back down a little bit. Sometimes you gotta push it down for an inch or two. The main thing is we've had some guys be confused with which direction to put the seal in. They actually had the glass fall in on them when they took off down the road. Glass did not shatter. It just came in. They caught it. Um, they had the seal in backwards. So important to put that seal on correctly onto the frame and look at your J-channel lock so it's on the front side of the vehicle so that you put your glass in and then lock your J-channel on the outside front front side of the windshield frame to lock it in. And then that way then the wind is always pushing on the windshield as you're going down the road. Uh, keeps that force in play. It, I mean, it won't even, like, if you hit the brakes too hard or you pushed on it, the glass won't fall out. But if you have it in backwards, you get to a 50, 60 mile an hour cruise, this thing's built like not like a sailboat. It's a brick big wind catch that's a lot of wind pushing on that so it um, just needs to be installed correctly and to do it on paper and explain everything without you know maybe it's better to make a video here we are I'm looking at my at my phone recording this we're at about the nine minute mark we already had the rubber installed that took just a couple minutes you might have 20 25 minutes maybe half hour um, getting this work around nobody's been helping him he's doing it by himself Sometimes maybe if you've got an extra hand helping push on the glass a little bit down here while he's working on that corner trying to get it in, it might speed it up a couple minutes. So, but it's never a big rush either. I started struggling here. You start struggling, go to a different part of the windshield, come back to this. Or if it gets too tight, see? As long as you walk away for a second, you get her. Now it's falling right back into place. But sometimes I'll say if it did get tight here for you know a couple inches, you could start again right here. Once when you get your seal locked down under, and then you could get a good run at it, you know. again I'll take start at the top side and then I'll run my knife all the way around it once more just to make sure that we're locked in there good but that is the installation of the diesel frequent shield sweet this customer here with his on the hoist is gonna be happy by the end of the day thank you <laughs>